And hello everybody, my name is Ivan and this video is sponsored by my masochistic tendencies. So if you're wondering what the heck's going on, well let me fill you in. Let me give you a little bit of context. So come on, come and sit on my lap while I tell you a little story. Um, the Last Jedi came out about six years ago and after a long reflection of depression and anger, I came to the conclusion that I finally did not like the movie. I, I, was, I was in awe to know that I didn't like a Star Wars property. After liking The Force Awakens, thinking that it was a good set of movie, The Last Jedi came out and just kind of destroyed the, those expectations. So I decided to re-edit it. Now, if you're wondering, oh, Ivan, is The Last Jedi re-edit done? Did you do it? Yes, I did. It is done. It was out and I made for four, for four years, I let everyone know where you could find it, where you could watch it, where you could see it, yada, 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 yada. But after those four years, I decided to quit YouTube. Uh, well, not quit YouTube, but quit that channel. I was just ready to, to, to move past beyond it. I thought, you know what? Star Wars is, is, is done. I, my, my work is not needed here anymore. So I deleted most of my re-edited videos. Uh, all of the videos that I did re-editing The Last Jedi and everything on a splurge of anger. Um, I decided to, to delete them. I didn't want to see them anymore. It just reminded me of a time where I was not necessarily happy with the property and I was just ready to let Star Wars die. So let's fast forward to today. So I kept hearing about how the Acolyte was just bad and, and disgusting. And I would see reviews from all walks of life, like many different channels that I trust their opinion. And yeah, universally, the Acolyte was not well received. I saw enough clips to be like, yeah, this, this, is, not, this is not good. This is not just one clip or two. It's many clips. Fuck. But, you know, I decided to, to, to watch it. I was like, you know what, let's, let's, just, let's just give in. So I, um, I watched it. I watched it live here in the channel. And you can find those videos here in the channel of me watching it live. Uh, it took me three days to, to finish it. I was, no, four days. It took me four days to finish it. So, uh, after, after, after finishing it, I didn't watch it with the intent of hating it. I didn't watch it with the intent of, I just don't like this or, oh, Disney Star Wars. Oh, you know, I watched it with the intent of, is there anything good here? And to be honest with you, yes, there is like, uh, despite what people might say, the acolyte does have good in it. But it's like, it's like mixing a steak with a bunch of McDonald's. You just need to remove the McDonald's and grab this steak and maybe add a little bit of salad and maybe some mashed potatoes over here and you'll have a very decent dish. So that's what I'm doing. I've decided to re-edit the Acolyte and I've been re-editing the Acolyte live uh, for the past three days. Now, if you want to see that process, um, you would have to become a channel member uh, to, to, to see it. Now, the live streams are free. You can watch them whenever they come out, but as soon as I end the live stream, they go for members only. So if you're wondering, like, if, if you're wondering, like, that's how you can watch it. But whenever I announce the streams, you can watch it. No, no problem whatsoever. So the plan to fix the Acolyte, you might be wondering, is how am I going to fix it? Or how am I going to, what, 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 what am I planning on doing with this thing, right? Well, let me, let me explain to you what I'm, do, what I'm doing. I am going to re-edit The Acolyte into a movie. The Acolyte will become a movie. I think it's going to be about two hours long um, or between one hour and a half to two hours. Uh, it's more realistic to say one hour and 45 minutes. And it's going to be a movie 
no episodes whatsoever or anything. I think the main problem of the Acolyte is the fact that you cannot root for any character. All the characters flip-flop motivations very, very often to the point that you're like, are you a good guy? Are you a bad guy? Uh, no one seems to really be defined. So, task number one, define the characters. The Jedi are supposed to be the good guys. The Jedi are supposed to be heroes, are supposed to be, you know, this omnipotent force of good. And the Sith are supposed to be bad guys, are supposed to be villains, are supposed to be just this wretched hive of villainy and scum. I messed that up. Anyways, doesn't matter. The point is that at the end of the day, we have... Good and evil. That's the thing. We gotta go back to we gotta go back to the root and what George Lucas established at the beginning. And it was a battle between good and evil. So I'm not here to make any sort of creative liberties to change the lore. I'm here to take creative uh, creative liberties to restore the lore. This movie will not take place a hundred years before the uh, Phantom Menace, like the show does. My, my, my movie is going to take place about a thousand years before. Right at the end of the extermination of the Sith. The Jedi are almost triumphant with defeating the Sith, the Sith and just kind of erasing them from the face of the universe. So that's why we have like the Acolyte. So this thing is going to take take place about like 1200 years before the uh, before the, the 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 Republic, before the um before the Phantom Menace. Now you're probably wondering with that statement, is Plague is going to be there? Is Yoda going to be there? No. Plague and Yoda are not going to be there because that would break the lore. <laughs> and I'm trying to make this as lore respecting as possible then the other thing that i'm planning on doing is to pretty much cut all the fat trim all the fat um i think the acolyte has a problem of over explaining and over abundance of redundant information so uh that is going to be gone that is going to be trimmed out and some characters that just kind of damage the story will change roles for example, the, the biggest example that I that I can think of is a Nepo Master Jedi. The the wife of Leslie Headland, she has a role in the Acolyte as a green alien Jedi Master that doesn't act like a Jedi Master in any way, shape, or form. She's more like the boss lady because she is the she is the wife of the writer, you know? Um and, and I, honestly, I didn't like her performance that much. And I think that she makes the Jedi look bad. She makes kind of terrible decisions. And she's just not likable in, 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 in many ways. So I'm recutting her role into a more fitting role. Like just a regular Jedi Master that gives information from time to time. But if you're thinking that I am going to re-edit everything for all the characters to take the same role that they originally had in the series, well, that's a mistake. This re-edit will, will elevate characters, will diminish others, but just know that I'm doing it with, with the story in mind. I'm not here to re-edit the Acolyte into... A fever dream of just what I would have liked this show to be but I'm re-editing the Acolyte into what I hope will be the best of what the show has respecting George Lucas, or George Lucas legacy respecting the lore that I know that I grew up with and taking into consideration every single character and story beat to make it as enjoyable as possible. If you don't like the fact that the main protagonists are two black girls, well, too bad. Like, I I'm not going to change the skin color, <laughs> you know? <laughs> First off, I don't know how to do that. And second, like, that's, that's, that's not the point. The point is to tell a good story. So that's what I'm focusing on. And uh, I am... 
I'm going to be very grateful if you're here with me while I do it. So just know that I will be re-editing this thing live, but the only way to, to know this when, when I'm streaming is to just turn on the notifications and I will announce the streams. They, I don't have a specific schedule to re-edit this thing, so just be up to date with the channel and, and, and that's it. Just click that little bell notification button and join me whenever I'm re-editing this thing. So let's uh let's 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 walk this journey together. All right. Bye.